guys, happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. Hope all of you are having a wonderful weekend so far. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a fun sticker haul for you guys. Thought I would mix it up a little bit. We've done, uh, the last two videos were planner related, um, which will continue on my channel, but um, I'm also gonna have some sticker hauls in between and some organizational videos as well. So stay tuned if you wanna see my move-in video into my Erin Condren Life Planner, that's gonna be next Sunday. But today, we are going to be doing a haul. All right, so I'm just gonna move these aside so that I can kind of focus on one shop at a time because they all are they all are from different places. <laughs> I'm gonna put those over there. So I haven't really done any trackers in the past, so I'm really excited to do them this year. Um, I thought that not only would they help to keep me on task, but they would also help me with um, some of my goals for the year and also um, just for some fun memory, memory planning, uh, trackers too, like the books that I've read each year, movies, that sort of thing. So one of the main goals that I have for this year that that's why I've kind of picked this one first is because I, this is uh, one that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, but it's just always hard to get started. I'm sure any of you who have been on a weight loss journey know that starting is one of the hardest parts. <laughs> so, um, I, my goal is to wait, uh, wait. Don't want to weigh 15 pounds. That's that's not going to be good. Is to lose 15 pounds. Um, for those of you who don't know, last year I had a very bad case, a severe case of COVID. I was hospitalized for two weeks, and then had to continue my recovery from home. Um, I was on a lot of steroids, prednisone, dexamethasone poppers. Um, there was there was a whole had a whole pharmacy of, of pills and stuff that I was on to help me recover, plus physio for about six months to learn how to walk again. Um, and um, function again. So I wasn't able to go to the gym and between being inactive for so long and all the medication, um, I gained about 15 to 20 pounds. Pretty short, I'm about 5'2", so I do notice it and um, I just feel like unhealthy. And so that's another reason why I want to um, set that goal for myself this year. So um, this is the goal that I had that I am starting with. Um, so it's a 15 pound jar and this is from glossy cup creations i put the stickies there so i would remember because there's a lot of different shops today and as you see it's a cute little jar i like that it's black and white um because then i can make these really colorful and really cute and it has everything i really want to keep track of which is the start date my start weight my goal weight and then obviously just like a little motivational thing which is always helpful um, especially when you're starting something different and a bit intimidating and um yeah so i think this is a reasonable goal for me for my for my size um i think i can attain it um i just have to get started <laughs> and this is also a printable sticker actually all, almost i think all of them are printables almost today so and then this is the sticker paper that i use it's by uh, avery i think it's eight and a half by 11 it's like a full sheet and i just get the hundred pack um because i go through them pretty quickly <laughs> So that's for my weight loss jar, keep track. And then these I got, okay, so this is from Staples. I got these actually a while ago, I think even last year um, when I was doing my move-in video and I was going to use them. Where I plan to use them is, I'll show you here in this page right over here. So, I decided that I'm going to use this area for my um, to keep track of my measurements this year. So these are going to go kind of in this section here. I'm going to have all the months. Um, and then these are the stickers that I made. So I used Canva to make these, which is pretty easy. Um, so I have like a little arm measurement, a waist measurement, and a leg measurement because these are the three areas like target areas that I want to work on. Um, and then I have like a little scale here. So every month I'll just like write down what the new measurement is, including my starting one. And then I have a little scale and I'll just put like what my weight is for that month as well. And then the idea is that these are going to go like in here. So I size them. So I'll have, so like I have all six months. And then I'm hoping <laughs> that I reach it by six months. So I only printed six. Um, and then these, like I said, they're going to be like, just up on top here and that's going to keep track of the month i might put like a little washi strip on there to make it a little bit a little bit cuter so we'll see how i'm feeling um, when i get to this page 
So those are custom stickers that I made um, from Canva, but they're going to go together with these. And then I'm just going to put that off to the side. And then this one's going to go in behind in my extra note pages in my life planner. So that's for my weight loss journey. The next um, stickers that I, I got are movie trackers. We are huge movie buffs. Um, we see so many movies every year. <laughs> They're not all in the theater though because it is expensive um, to go. So we try to go to see one movie a month um, in the theater. So that's what I'm going to use these for. I'm going to use these for my movie theater movies because if I try to keep track of all the movies that I watched at home, I just would have like a whole planner at least just for that. <laughs> so this is going to be for the movies that we decide to see in the theater, including the new Mission Impossible one that we're going to be watching today actually later this afternoon. So I'm really excited for that. And then this is from the shop Hourglass Planners. So it's kind of cool. I like how it's, it's pretty simple. There's lots of different styles on there when you go. I got these from Etsy. I like that it has like the little, the little movie thing cut and then it has room for the name and then how many stars. So what you thought of the movie, which is pretty much all I really need to keep track of or want to keep track of for this. And then another thing that we really love are TV shows when we have time to watch them. Um, with the kids, sometimes it's hard. <laughs> We're a little tired. Or I'm a little tired. My husband's a night owl, so it's not so bad for him. But I get up at like 4 or 5 in the morning. Um, and so by the time like 8 o'clock rolls around and I've done a full day of work, kids, cooking, taking care of Harley, going for walks and all that stuff, I am exhausted. So, But when we are able to watch uh, TV shows together, I wanted to use this cute little TV tracker. Um, and this is by Thought Suite. A little remote. Um, I'm not going to keep track of month by month, so I'll probably wipe this out or put like another little icon here or something. And then again, nice and simple. I like the little like retro style TVs, those are so cute. I actually saw these at my grandparents' house, so it's something I've seen for real in my lifetime, which is which is kind of kind of makes me feel old, but also kind of like a fun nostalgic uh, feel to it. And then again, you have room for the name of the show and then the little stars, so you can keep track of what you thought of the show. So we usually, I think this will be enough for the year. If not, I can always reprint more. That's the great thing about printables. Um, you can always, yeah, you can print as many as you need really. So, and they're really reasonably priced as well. So that's for the shows. Then the next, I guess, hobby that I, that I love to do um, in my spare time when I'm not planning is reading. And that's probably why I have the most for reading. I absolutely love reading. I had a really cute idea this year. Um, so how I wanted to keep track of my books is at the back here. And I'm going to show you guys how all this looks next week when I finish putting it all together. But I'm just, this is actually what I'm waiting for. Um, it's like a little envelope. Oops. It's from Amazon and it's got like the old little tie thing. So I'm going to, obviously it's a little bigger than this. This is just what the the printout size was, but I'm going to be putting it in here um, or maybe from the side. I'm not really sure yet how I'm going to organize that. And then look how cute these are. These are from the old design shop. And for those of you who when you used to have to go to the library to take out books um, in the days before the internet. Yes, I was also around before then. Um, we used to have to go to the library for everything, research papers, um, just recreational reading um, and we had these little old cards that they had so I thought it would be really cute to have again this is gonna be bigger have the envelope put the card in um, and then just to keep track of all the books that I read and so and I also got this cute little this cute little like stamper from Staples you can also get these online on Amazon um, and it, this one is self stamping you can get ones where you have to buy ink as well but I just didn't want to have to buy a bunch of extra stuff. So I just got the one that's self stamping and today is, I think it's the 16th. So let me just see if I can find something to show you guys with. So there we go. So that's what it looks like. And I thought that'd be a cute way to like keep track of like the dates that like I finished the books and, um, and then what I thought of them. So this is going to be for my reading tracker. So I'm going to keep that together and then also kind of around the page, I'm going to decorate it with some of these stickers from I Love to Print, which is one of my favorite online 
um, printable straps. I like her style and her stickers so much. They are always so cute. And I um, actually just used her little dinosaur kit on one of my spreads. If you follow me on Instagram, um, you can go check it out there. I have some, we'll be posting some pictures of that later today. And I'll be able to put it on here somewhere. If not, it'll be down below um, if you want to come follow me on there as well and take a look at some of the spreads that I've done. Um, but so this is um, the stickers from her book, book one. I think it's book lover is what it's called. So, and I wear glasses too. So this is perfect because I can't do really any reading without those. And um, then she also has just like some open books which is super cute. So like sometimes I'll just literally leave my book like this on the table, go make myself a coffee or a tea and then come back and pick up right where I left off. She got these ones where the girl is like lying on a pile of books because like books are like literally all you need when you love books. If you love books as much as me, um, you'll understand. So that is super cute as well. And then, like I was saying, I'm, I am usually drinking like a cup of coffee or a cup of tea when I'm reading. So I really like these stickers as well. And they say reading time. And um, I like that she includes the two different sizes too on every single sheet. So that way, if you want some smaller ones, you can. If you want the bigger ones, you also have that option as well. And the next one is another favorite of mine. <laughs> Just one more chapter. And that's kind of me at the end of the night when I'm trying to go to sleep and complaining about being tired. And yet this is what I keep saying to my husband. Just one more chapter, just one more chapter. <laughs> For some reason I can stay awake and read a book all night, but when he turns the TV on, it like instantly puts me to sleep. I don't know how that works, but he gets a little upset sometimes. I think he's like, how come you can stay awake for your books and not for, for our TV show? <laughs> But he's amazing. He was really good. If it's a show that I don't really care about, he'll just kind of keep watching it and, and that's fine. But if it's one that I absolutely love, he will pause it even if I'm only like 15 minutes in and he'll wait for me the next day. He's such a sweetheart. So very appreciative of that. These are some little book, book chairs, again, with the two different sizes, which is super cute. And then she has like her little character stickers, which I love. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use them with the purple hair, which is super fun, or the brown hair, which is more more of, of my natural hairstyle, but that's what I like too. Like when you, brown is my normal color. So I see that every day, but like in your planner, it's like almost like an ultra ego. Like you can kind of be somebody that you're not, which is kind of fun. So I'm going to be using some of these as well. She's standing and reading. She's sitting and reading. She's lying and reading. And basically reading is life with the sticker sheet. So I love that. Um, and then again, this one, similar she's lying and reading the difference between these two is this one has also um, some brown and blonde haired ones and they're also standing and then there's just some more standing sheets and then these are just like the individual individual sheets again with the two different sizes which is awesome so what i do is i usually i'll, I'll use the ones that i want and then i just give the extra stickers to my uh, daughter because she also loves planning as well. So whatever I don't use, I either keep for the future or I share with her, which is really fun. It's always nice to do that together. I love that she loves planning as much as I do and reading too. Even though she's in grade one, she's reading at a grade two level, at least her teacher said so. And we do that every day as well. So she's just like a little mini me, which is super cute. And then there's just like a little pile of books so again, you never have too many books, just like planners. It's, it's kind of dangerous. So these are all my uh, reading books. I'm not going to use all of them, obviously, but I will pick and choose which ones that I want to use to decorate around this page for my reading tracker. And then the next tracker that I'm going to be using that I thought would be kind of fun to do now that I'm kind of at trackable numbers, I guess, is um, some milestones because uh, social media is, it's fun and I love it and I really enjoy my time, but it is, you do have to put some work in. It does take effort. It takes time. Um, and so I thought that I would celebrate uh, the achievements and milestones that I've reached. These ones are from Mr. Prince and I got a YouTube subscriber tracker. 
And I also got the Instagram follower tracker, and that's also going to fit nicely at the very back in those note pages of my planner. And I think at Instagram, I am at, I'm actually almost at 2000. So I'm going to be getting that one soon, which is really exciting. And when I look back, I actually can see like the progress. It's actually really cool. So I'm really glad I decided to do these. It's about, it's about time. <laughs> I think it just felt like in the beginning, I just like when I had like more modest numbers, which I'm not like super obsessed with or anything, but like, I just felt like, eh, like, I don't know. I just, I just wasn't really keeping track of it. Um, didn't really know how far I was going to be able to go, but you guys have absolutely surprised me. Um, and, uh, made me feel just so supported on here. So thank you. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't even need these sheets without you guys. So these sheets are for you. Thank you so very much for all your support. You guys are awesome. Um, I have loved getting to meet you guys and know some of you really well over the past few years. Um, and yeah, I think YouTube, I'm almost at 200. I'm at 190. So super, super close to both of these um, milestones, which will be really fun to color in. And again, I like the black and white background because then I can kind of make the stars kind of colorful and fun. And um, yeah, so thank you so much. I'm almost at both of those. If you guys are liking my uh, video so far, please subscribe. And if you don't already follow me on Instagram, go and check me out over there as well. The next, um, well, I'll put those away too quickly. Hold on. <laughs> The next uh, kind of stickers, which are not really different, they're still in theme with these, but are they're from Petticoat, no, hold on, Print Petticoat Bandit, and this is a new sticker shop. She kind of has um, similar um, characters to I Love to Print. I actually, I almost thought for when I was first going through these, it was from the same shop, but it's not. So I guess they just got the art um, from the artist, and which as most, a lot of you know, they can do that. They can sell the clip art and then you're allowed to resell it in your stickers. Um, so I'll see that a lot of duplicate kits in different shops and I don't mind. Um, so yeah, print kit, pretty cool bandits. That's a mouthful. So I have here the little Instagram one. So the idea between the, or between these behind these was that I was going to like put these, like put, not all of them, obviously, but just like one, maybe one on either side or maybe like Maybe just the one. And then I also have one for YouTube. Oops, the last screen there. Sorry, guys. And then she also had, I they, it came in like a, a stack of four, so I just printed the whole page anyway. In the future, if I ever decide to open up an Etsy shop, which, which I have kind of played around with, um, the idea of doing that, um, I'll have these. And then these are for... I don't know <laughs> the other other ones I guess I, I don't have any of these that's why I don't recognize them um I'm I'm pretty old school like I literally just have Facebook YouTube and Instagram um because that's what I first kind of grew up with and, and I'm kind of a dinosaur so I'm not really good at learning new apps plus there's it just becomes too much to keep track of all of them so especially as a full-time mom and working and, and even just doing these two platforms um which is awesome and I enjoy it but and that's all I can kind of manage right now on my plate. So that is for social media tracking. The next tracker that I'm going to keep track of is um, a cruise countdown, which I thought would be super fun and super exciting, especially because it's our first one ever. I have never been on a cruise before, and we literally were just about to book one before COVID hit a couple years ago, and then we were obviously a little nervous to go on one afterwards. Um... So, but yeah, we have one booked in November. So I thought this one would be really fun to do. I think we're going to be starting probably around 90 days or, or somewhere in here for the summer. And then after that, it's going to go down. I think it's every 10 days it counts by at first. And then when you get down to 30 days, it's just like a, a day by day countdown. And then that'll be our vacation, which is, I'm so excited. We haven't been on one in so long. And I'm just, the kids have never, haven't been on a vacation actually too. Cause again, we were just going to travel with them. They were just at the age that we were able to afford to go with a family of four and when COVID hit. So we promised them that once we were able to and COVID cleared, we would take them. So they're also really excited. This is from Design Lovely Studio, which is another one of my favorite printable sticker shops. And um, I got two different ones because I 
I wasn't sure which one I'm going to use yet. I like them both so much. So I got them both. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you know that struggle well. Um, and then this one's from a new one, Letter Ink Co. And I've cut this so that it's going to fit right at the bottom or at the top if I want to of um, my note pages in my planner. And then I'm either going to have this in there. And with this one, I'm not going to just put it down. I'm actually going to cut them out and make like a fun little like maybe to like an island and then like to this one maybe um, to do the counter. Or I might end up using these. So I'm not really sure. But I have them both just in case. So that's going to be for our cruise countdown, which I get to start checking off because we're within the 100 days. And the last thing or last set of stickers that I'm going to be um, using is going to be to keep track of our kids' school schedule. And that's going to be for this area here. And we've already got all of our dates already. Um, so all I have to do is put them all in. Sorry, just <laughs> taking off some hair here. Even though Harley is upstairs, somehow her hair gets everywhere. There we go. So this is from, I have used a couple, so it's not brand new, but I, it's pretty new. I used this, I think, once, like, three years ago, and then I, like, misplaced it somewhere and totally forgot about it, and then we were living out of boxes for <laughs> a couple years after that while we saved to move into a house because we didn't have enough space, and so I've just rediscovered it. So these are from Sticker Mama, and basically these peel off, and they go over the dates, um, and I'll show you guys how I, I put this together and how I use them and what it looks like next week. Um, but I, I always color color code this either highlighters, which I've used in the past. That's what I used last year. Or you can use something like this. And then you keep track of like PA days, vacation days, birthdays, school closures, hol holidays, all that, that sort of thing. And then um, they have the different colors here too. So you can color coordinate a couple different things that you want to keep track of. Um, and that's going to be for this section here. All right, guys, that is it for today. I'm super excited to be moving into this planner next week. It has just been, I've just been looking at it all week, just waiting to move in. Um, I'm getting it ready for an August move in. That's why if some of you are like, well, it's July, how come you didn't move in? But actually, I'm really happy because Erin Condren um, has extended their their planner like when I first started using their planner it was June I think June to June but then now they do July to July or it was like June to May or I can't remember but they didn't include the last month so you basically at the end of May like you had to move into your new planner at that time or you were kind of stuck plannerless <laughs> but now with their recent planners they go from July to July so they include the same month on either end which is amazing um, and also gives you a little bit of extra time which is really nice because I wasn't able to afford all the planners in when everybody else was moving in in June um, so it was nice to have that extra month just because with the kids they had all their like end of school stuff and so the budget was going to that and to camp and stuff first and then I was able to get my planners so very excited and um, can't wait to use all of these. Can't wait to show you guys how I'm going to use all these. And let me know in the comments below what kind of things you like to keep track of. Thanks so much for your support. And I will see you guys next week. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.